Hi there, this is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca and I wanted to create this video as soon as Microsoft announced this new exam, 70-535 Architecting Microsoft Azure Solutions. Those of you who are familiar with Microsoft's Azure exams know that there's already an exam, 70-534, that's about architecting Microsoft Azure Solutions. So what's the deal with this new 535 exam? Well, Microsoft is basically rolling out some new requirements, some new, a new syllabus essentially for this exam. Now they did this with the 532 developing Azure Solutions exam and 533 uh, implementing Microsoft Azure infrastructure. So they made two changes to those two exams and this exam is now the third exam this month that they've announced changes for, but they felt like the changes were large enough that they needed to even increment the exam number. So they're actually going to retire the 534 exam and come out with a new 535 exam. Now details are sketchy at this time. There's no new syllabus. I can't do a before and after. If you go to my site, softwarearchitect.ca, and the links in the description of this video, I have done a before and after comparison of the 532 and the 533 changes. So you can see exactly what topics have been removed and added from those two exams. If you're in the process of studying or you want to keep your skills up to date, then you'll, you'll want to take a look at that. But we don't have the 534 yet, now to be 535. And so keep it locked here, subscribe to this channel, and as soon as the details of the 535 exam come out, you'll be sure to know because I will create a video on it and let you know. Okay, so we're waiting to hear what's going to happen. In the meantime, let's say you're in the process of studying for 534, I would say go ahead and do that. Well, here we are in October. The exam doesn't get uh, retired until December 31st. And so you've got essentially two and a half months to study for, take and pass that exam. And that's plenty of time. Even starting today, you can study for, take and pass that exam in the next five weeks. Okay, within my Azure courses, uh, 534 course, I do have a study plan that goes five weeks and it'll tell you day by day what to study. Okay, so go, go ahead and, and check that out if you're in my courses already. But uh, you can do today, pass it, and there's no risk that your exam will be uh, useless on this January 1st of next year. If you do want to wait until uh, January 2018 when the new exam comes online or late December 2017, uh, then uh, you're certainly free to do that. But there's really no harm in getting involved with Azure, creating an account, starting to create resources, studying for the current exam, and waiting until the new exam comes out. Because my expectation is that there is going to be some mapping between the old exam and the new exam. It's not like Microsoft has thrown out the underlying technology, which is the Microsoft Azure Cloud Platform, and coming out with a whole new platform. So the underlying material is pretty much the same. So although the, the syllabus might be a little bit different and they felt like it was uh, big enough to create a new exam code, uh, I think if you do the work now, don't, you know, there's no point sitting around doing nothing. So if you do the work now, if you do want to wait for that, uh, you're not going to, that's not going to be wasted effort because there's not like you're going to learn something that's going to be useless in the future. So either way, whether you could take 534, which you could absolutely do before December or wait till the 535, uh, it's up to you. And it's the same for the other two exams. You can uh, certainly uh, take those, those courses and take those exams now or wait until the changes come into effect. Anyways, this has been Scott from softwarearchitect.ca. Again, subscribe to the channel to keep up to date. Uh, the links to those blog posts that do the before and after comparison at the topic level uh, are in the description of this video. All right, thanks a lot. Take care.